due next time I see you. So this is going to be due on uh, Monday. Um, I suppose this would be the 15th, right? 2019. This is going to be study skills homework. So I guess I should write it out. Study skills activity. And you finished this one already, Wesley? 0 0.1? Finish that one? Yep. Great. I'm really happy about that. And then also the other thing you're going to finish is study skills homework 3 or study skills activity 3, rewrite your lecture notes. This is the one that actually I would say is money. I had a guy come to me last quarter that said he got a $500 scholarship and all he talked about as an application form was this study skills homework. And then he submitted it to me and it was true. He wrote it like, the, he wrote about how he rewrote his lecture notes and he's using that to academic degree. I've never seen, this is called lecture note system. How many people notice that this is brutal? Brutal, isn't it? Yeah, it's brutal. I killed this part of myself five years ago when I became a professional teacher. And then I got chastised by both my students and some of my colleagues that I didn't finish all the content in the class. And there's a part of my heart that's so angry because this class is designed to be one of the di most diff How can you take 1A, 1B, 1C, and 1D, put it in a quarter, and then have no pre prerequisites? And that's what we've done in this class. And I have this thing that if you learn from me, you should actually understand what you, what you like I have this thing that I actually care that my students understand math. You know what's a really easy way to speed up? Just don't care if they understand. But that's not my steez. That's not my style. You know my steez? My steez is that I really want you to understand. Well, I have a choice. I either cut material out, I've done that, or I talk faster. It's, the reason I feel okay with this is because you all say you want to transfer, right? How many of you want to go to UC Berkeley? All right, so you probably have systems already. Yeah, so if you got systems already, no problem. But many of my students don't have these systems. So I'll give them to you. Let me give you some systems. If you don't have systems, steal mine, use them, adapt them, etc. cetera. Um, this one, I forget the title of uh, Study Skills Activity uh, point 0.1. Do you remember what that was, 0.1? That's uh, Stay Motivated. Stay Motivated, yeah. Um, Wesley, can I do something real quick? Can I just show, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna show that what you actually wrote, but I wanna show the level of care that you gave on that study skills assignment. Is that all right? This one is crazy because it's making you think about the rest of your life, like deeply. Anybody check that out already? When are you gonna die? What age are you gonna die at? 30. I'm gonna die at 95 if I can. When are you gonna retire? I'm gonna retire at 65, I'm gonna take five years to, to, to run down, I'm gonna be at 70, and at 70 I'm gonna do whatever the heck I want. Well, I'm still gonna work, I just won't care about a paycheck, right? Yeah. And I, I could tell you, the next 15 years of my life, I know exactly which project I'm working on. And then after that, I have like four or five different projects. I'm not sure which one I'm going to ch touch. I have documents of plenty. You know, someday when we're office hours, take, take a look at those documents, right? But that's because for the last 15 years of my life, one of the things that I did almost every single day is thought to myself, what do I want to do with the rest of my life and why? Why does that matter to me? And my claim is, we, we purport that that's what we help you do in college, but then we never actually help you with it. You ever notice that? How many of your teachers ever asked you what you want to do with the rest of your life? Well, you've had me before. Yeah, those of you that have me before know that I do this, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, but for the rest of you, I, let me not speak for anybody here. I love my, my colleagues, but I will say my entire undergraduate career, I never had, the only advice I ever got was from a man that said, you should get a PhD. You know what I said back to him? What's that? <laughs> right? So this document has a bunch of stuff that I'm going to ask you to fill in. It's a bunch of reading and stuff. And I didn't leave enough work. And so Wesley typed it all up. Look at all this typing. There's three, four pages of work this guy did. Um, my claim is I would like you to do this every single quarter, at least once a quarter. I actually do it weekly, personally. Well, I don't do it weekly with rewriting all the stuff, but I, I look at my stuff weekly, at least every Friday. I look at that list, I say, how's my, I use it daily, right? So those two are due next time we see each other. And I'm actually having you for your, nice, let's give Wesley a big round of applause. For your rewrite system, you're going to rewrite in this system lesson zero, the stuff that we covered, lesson one, lesson two, and then anything that we get, I don't know if we're going to get to lesson three today, I hope we do. So you're going to rewrite those over the weekend using this lecture note system. Read carefully. I'm telling you right now, 
I've seen people get 4.0s using this stuff. I got 4.0s using this stuff. I've not seen a better algorithm for taking the really, really shitty system, which is called lectures, and turn it into something that is meaningful, which is called learning. Lectures are not defined for learning. They're defined to make me feel smart about myself by saying, look at all the stuff I know. And then they're also defined to say, for you, what should I understand for the test? So I'm going to be like, this is what you should understand. Go learn it. That's the only thing that happens in a lecture. Not, you know what was a good day for me? 90 seconds of understanding. If I was sitting in an under division, uh, upper division math class and I understood the first 90 seconds, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm a fucking genius today. I got 90 seconds. Usually it was like the second sentence that the person said. I was like, what? <laughs> now, there were some of, my, some of my folks, I, can, I actually can call out two people in my other class right now that aren't like this. They, they follow along. They don't take notes, but they follow along the entire time. They're right with me the entire time. There were students like that. I wasn't one of them. Yeah. So that system is designed to help you with that. And I want to do it thoughtfully. If you already have systems that work for you, then use them. Then use them. But if you don't, or you're not used to this problem, or you're not used to this pace, then think really carefully about this. I put tens of, maybe hundreds of hours into designing these systems. Because you know what I truly believe down to my gut? Getting straight A's is a game, and you can learn how to do it. And it's a game that's poorly designed by the system. Your teachers are, the people that are at the highest levels are not professional teachers. They're professional researchers that teach in their moonlight hours. And they teach only because they're forced to teach by their contract. Now, not all of them, this is a broad generalization, right? Not all men are six foot one. Not all teachers at the UC level neglect teaching for the benefit of research. But many do. I can think of 10 without even, without even blinking an eye. I can, I can name them. I can see their faces. Right? And the, one, the reason that that's important is you all have gotten blessed at this school. This school is a bunch of professional teachers that do nothing other than thinking about how learning works and how to structure their classes to make that happen. Our entire egos, my ego, is tied up in that problem. You know what happens when you go over there? Any of them. Any of these CSUs, you know what happens when you go there? You got people that churn out two to four to ten papers a year. They take down multi-million dollar grants. I had a guy, this is a real story. I'm in this, this office with a DACA student who got married at 17. He's crying to me. He doesn't see his wife because his wife's parents hate him. He's, La Migra is showing up at his door. His entire, he's taking out $10,000 of loans at the UC. His whole life is captured up in this. He's the best student in this class and he's crying in my office. And he's taking this class so seriously. He got the best midterm exam the first time, struggling on the second midterm. And that meeting, walk down the hall 15 minutes later to the teacher of the class who is one of my graduate, he's a, a professor at the school. It's a Friday on that day. And that guy sits down with me and I go, how was the week? And he goes, it's great. I've spent no more than 15 minutes outside a lecture thinking about this class. The guy's getting paid $200,000 a year. I checked the Sacramento Bee for that. He's the best that we got, and he can't spend more than five minutes lecture. You know how much every hour of lecture cost me as a teacher? Minimum 20 hours of my life. Minimum. The reason that I say this is these study skills, the whole point of these study skills is to get you ready to swim with sharks. And let me be honest, if you have the study skills, there's nothing like the UC. If you know how to study, and you know how to get straight A's, and you got systems, you cannot get a better education than the UC. But if you don't, you know what happens? It's called sink or swim. You ever heard the statistic that 50% of students that start college don't finish? It's because the system itself doesn't teach this stuff. You know what happens when you go into a class and you start failing? You know what the system says? It's college, not my problem. You gotta learn how to study. Grow up. I don't believe that. That's not, you, you, they can do that. They can say that all they want. That's not what I believe. I believe it's so much more efficient for somebody to think really, really deeply about these systems and to give that information away. And then what I always say to my students is, if you got a system that works for you, use it. If you don't have a system, fake it till you make it. It's my whole life. I faked it till I made it. Still faking it till I make it. Right? 
steal the stuff you like, customize it, work on it. I will say though, the, I've put thousands of hours behind the systems themselves, the thoughtfulness of what's going into those systems and really making connections deep down into the science of learning, right? And so before you immediately say to yourself like, ah, I'm not going to pay attention to this guy, but this, what, what's this guy thinking about? Like, just, just read it, okay? Just read it and think about it. And then the best case scenario, use it to excel. All right? Yeah, that's all I can say. I just want to put it out there. It's up to you now. It's yours, right? And I'll collect it. I'll, I'll, like, I'll go through the process of collecting it. But you know who this is really for? You think this is for me? You think I want more stuff to read? Who's this for? Yeah, use it. If it doesn't work, then okay. But spend an hour and a half thinking about it. All right, I'll shut up. Say shut up, Anderson. I'll say it. Shut up, Anderson. <laughs> it's important though. It's like this is college. This is the actual value of college. Figuring out what the hell you're going to do with your life, why you want to do it, why you're willing to just work 20 hours a day if you need to, what you want to make money doing, what you want to spend with your time doing, and then once you've decided that, how do you do it to the best of your ability within the constraints of the system? Those problems are really hard to solve. And that, in my opinion, is what college is about. The, the, the content itself is just like, oh, this is really interesting. Let's, let's use it.